Hey, what's going on YouTube? If you find these videos helpful, uh, please buy me a cup of coffee. It would be awesome because I need a lot of it. Um, I want to thank uh, Jackie here for the very nice words. And I'm glad I can do a um, service to you guys and help you out. Um, definitely take a look at this uh, AEM uh, here shortly. I just want to say thank you so much. I mean, it means a lot to me that I actually did some good for, uh, for you. And um, just be careful out there. There's a lot of people smarter than me that will take your money faster than you can say avalanche. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. And um, I hope I can continue uh, helping you guys out. Uh, makes me happy. A little teary. So, uh, before we get started today, I just want to uh, make a reminder that uh, this, this guy, Michael J. Parsons, has a course... And I'm not selling the course. I haven't heard from this guy in a very long time. But here's uh, some tastes of his work. Uh, very professional uh, course. Um, I watched it years ago. It, but um, it, ha it offers such a different perspective than what you uh, realize is hidden from you in plain sight as far as making reversals, uh, you know, mathematically, taking points on a chart, counting some bars, doing some little math, and figuring out where the reversal bars are. Um, remarkable work from this guy. You won't hear it from anywhere, anywhere else. Guaranteed, top notch. Just another way and um, tool to use in your uh, toolbox. Here is his course. Uh, I highly recommend just looking into it. If at all, you don't, I'm not saying, oh, you have to buy this or anything like that. <coughs> I haven't watched this course in over six years, but I remember so much great things. He's got three courses here. Reversal Dynamics. That's where the math comes in. Not hard math. Don't get freaky you can do it by math or you can do it by counting bars uh, so simple when you see it you'll be like wow uh, that's been sitting right in front of me the whole time balance dynamics finding the uh, this the balance points of each wave and finding again reversal bars and then surfing the channels uh, very very nice I remember that uh, you know when I say you know the the price doesn't reach the end or its natural point that I considered it a failure especially when the next bar open up down and then all you do is you take that failure and then you wait for it to break down and very informative very easy um, just opens your eyes to a lot of things and the other guy I want to mention is this guy Mike Martin J Pring has an interactive CD-ROM for uh, a number of um, a number a, a number of uh, technical analysis books commentary CD-ROMs this series here momentum explained one and two awesome I remember I haven't watched these in years, but if you, because, uh, you know, I bought and read so much out there. Let's, you know, cut to the chase. This is where I learned most of my stuff. Interactive. That was most important. Uh, you might fall asleep numerous times, but get through it. Watch it again. Um, he might have a different series on this now. Maybe like a, a DVD instead of a CD-ROM, but uh, definitely take a look into that. I'll actually leave a link for you to check those out on Amazon. And then Michael J. Parsons, I don't think that he's on Amazon anymore. You can only get it 
from his website, greatesttradingtools.com. So check him out. I highly recommend it. Uh, silver, gold, continue on a tear. Dollar takes another bad churn for the worse. Uh, down another 1%. S&P on a teeter. Uh, coming up on that 1900 break line. Um, but I want everyone to be aware. All these extension bars pointing down. Says this thing's trying to move up somewhere. So I'd use... Um, you know, last week it was in this uh, consolidation and it popped. And then we got another we got another step here. It's in this another channel. And look for more consolidation. We got a higher low so far. I think this is a week. This closes out the week from a low to a higher low to a higher low, I would look at this um, breaking previous highs and taking a um, um, a bearish retracement, you know, back to its back to its maker. Maybe it can get up to the 13 and, may, and meet that major resistance line of 2000. So just be aware, again, it's still weak. It's still going to fall off the map. Who knows when? Um, again, maybe we close tomorrow way below 1900. It all depends how we close the week. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, crude, it's in its little pattern. It's making the pattern. It's going to get tighter and tighter. The price is going to have to realize up or down in the corkscrew effect. So you got to break down. Hit one point, hit one point. So now we got a pattern going. Hit another point. Now we got a third point on the chart. Um, who knows what can happen? I'm thinking it needs to. Um, it, it needs to. You know, come back to its point sometime. Maybe not this week. Maybe not next week. Uh, maybe we'll see more down. But uh, look for uh, previous highs and lows or breaks, just like ever. Um, now, on this AEM, what a great looking chart. Uh, that 30 break might have been uh, well worth the wait after being shooken out on this last uh, bullish um, retracement. So, on a longer term chart, you'll see. It breaking above, retracing back, and that very next week it closed above, and then on a weekly you can see it. All right, so. We had this long, here, hang on a second. Okay, so AEM, let's just look at this pattern. Um, we got three points on this bottom line. Looks like it was hugging, broke above, broke down. And I'm talking about above and below the 34 trend line. Came down, didn't reach its point. A return, natural point of return. Now we could have had that line there as it made its way, but then you would have been shooken out, thinking this thing was going to crumble. But then it made another point here, so we take that line, and then it did one more turn across the 34, hit resistance, and now we're in a pattern. See, then we, we created this two-point deal here. So once we made that, and you knew it was above the 34, and the 8 and the 13 were getting close, coming across, this thing retraced back down. Might have been shooken out here. Got a little scary. Made its bounce right off the point where we needed it to. Now, as this week 
weekly bar closes, you can see it closes above our 34. And the best trade ever has taken that previous high break on this on this candle open, taking the break and taking a ride. Now I would have taken profits off of 30 as it was a point of a major resistance, but then again, it, uh, I'm not sure about uh, the minuscule minutes on this thing, but it, I imagine it retraced, gathered, gathered its legs and made a far better great um, break than uh, previously. Um, you can see the catapult here. You can see break above, consolidate, uh, bullish retracement, consolidation. It closed above our 34 on a weekly, took the previous high break, waited for that catapult to take off. Now, don't mind this. I don't think that is there. That's nothing. Okay, so on a daily, you can see that today, I mean, it gapped hard. It did a gap and run. Um, but eventually, uh, not all gaps need to be closed, but all gaps eventually get closed, if that makes sense. This might be a strong enough run. What a run for a few. And then later on, months later, coming back here to fill the gap that happens often but look how strong that was coming off that 30 break now to find out where we're headed let's see so here's the natural point of return here's the balance of the chart coming in through here you can see how it already touched here so we got two, three points of reference. It's likely to bump this in and around 34 and start to back off as it needs to come back to its makers, the 8 and 13, as it is already crossed. And the most amazing thing is the monthly as it's crushing it on a weekly trend break. So you got the 30 here, right across the 34 on a monthly, just taking a high riser. Um, let's take out of these lines and just concentrate on looking at the moving averages. Because sometimes trend, line, trend lines will uh, confuse you where the breaking points are, but it's just a point of reference. That's all it is. So we take this line, go through here. We got a, a run to 34. Look for retracements when 13 and the 8 cross the 34. So this 8 is going to be in a hurry this next few weeks as the month closes. Um, hopefully by the end of the month, this 8 will reach above but at the same time watch price retrace back as the 8 or 13 come across the 34 on a monthly chart just look for retracements as moving averages move across because the the elasticity of price needs to come down and bounce and what we're doing in hope is following that eight all the way up following that this eight using it as a stopping point maybe adding point um, as on a bullish run you want to buy into support sell into resistance so we got resistance at 34 and then up here in the 40 range so there you have it Great move, great chart.
Um, glad I can help. Um, you even have a reverse head and shoulders. If you can see it, left shoulder, right shoulder, head, neckline, break, snap in the neck. Awesome move. It's still running. Um, looks awesome. Great job. Love it. Uh, share, like, comment. I'll leave links uh, to the uh, Michael J. or uh, Martin Pring. And um, thank you very much. Thanks for watching.